Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the AM Silver Bullet on Friday, July 14th. We're going to go candle by candle, so I'm going to buy or sell as we go here and uh, see how much money we can make or if we lose. Uh, so this light gray area is the 8.30 to 10 a.m. window. This is the 8.30, the embar news embargo is lifted, and then this starts the silver bullet hour okay so let's go candle by candle here okay and so i wanted to show you this is a big candle right here okay that is where I'm, there's a news prelim consumer sentiment okay so i'm gonna put high impact news here so it's this next candle over i don't want to hide it because it'll cover the candle but it's right there is high impact news so we've taken out some sell side liquidity right here and uh, we'll see what happens Some relatively equal highs right there. We got a volume imbalance here. So we came down, took out the sell side. This would be the market structure shift if you were going long. So we got some. Volume imbalance there taps off that. See if we take these highs. Uh, so there's three in a row. Very suspect. Okay, yeah, uh, I figure they'd get taken. Okay. So obviously, buy side's been taken now because you've got well, buy side liquidity's been taken right here. So where would you look for a market structure shift if you're going to go short? For me, it wouldn't be this candle. I'd probably use this swing low right here as the swing low that started this run right here to make this this swing high. I'd use this one. So I wouldn't be looking at these. I'd need it to come down here. Close. Well, it was close. That fair value gap right there, it hit it hit into that. So if you use anything else for a market structure shift, like if you used this, you could have, you no, know, no, you wouldn't have got into this one right here, but you could have gotten into this trade right here and go short and targeting down here. How do you use that structure? But like I said, for me, my my swing low was hit this would be the market structure shift. So this is a very aggressive entry without a market structure shift. For me, you can use something different, but for me, it'd be right here. So I wouldn't have traded that. I'm just marking it to show you what you, it was there. All right, so that broke the market structure right there, market structure shift. Okay, now if it comes back into this, I'm taking a trade. Okay, but it does leave a fair value gap right here. And it might just leave without me. Okay, we got a bunch of sell side down here. So obviously this just took it and it's just right there. So sell side's right below this wick right here. And if we scroll over, you got a bunch of sell side over here, 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 here. You got all this. So I just need 
a fair value gap here. Something that something to come back up to get into. Well, there you go. That's nice. Okay. Okay, so down up close candles when we're bearish. It's an order block right there. Order block. So if price comes up into that or to that, I'm gonna take a trade. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, you see this little fair value gap right here. So if it comes up into any of this, I'm taking it, I'll get in. Okay, so it would have got me in here, but on trading view, if I get in now, it's going to get me in right here. So getting in here is way too far. So I'm going to I'm going to hit the replay button, and I'm going to go back to this candle, and I'm going to get in right here because that's where it closed, which is close enough. So just saying, we would have been entered right here this for a value gap, but because of trading view, and you have to close it, you have to buy at the end of a candle close. This candle closed right here. That's so far away from our entry point, and this candle actually closed, not in our, in, we didn't enter there yet, but for this trading view, just for demonstration purposes, I got to enter at this candle. So I'm going to go back one candle, go back one candle, I'm going to sell to there, and we're going to pretend this candle got me in to that right there, okay? All right, so say we got in right there, where would we be targeting for our partials and take profit? Well, you're getting in there. I'd take partials right in here, about 60%, 60-ish percent. And then draw on liquidity, you would take here. And if you want to leave a runner, go to the uh, midnight opening price, which is this blue one, blue dashed line, okay? So that's where we're at. That's what we're targeting. So let's just see how it goes. See, another entry would have entered us again right there. If you weren't filled on the first one, you were definitely filled there. Okay, I close. I got to take a partial now. Right there, because we said we'd take a partial. And... All right, so when I take a partial, my stop, I always bring my move my stop up to one tick below, below break even. So that's where my trailing stop is right there. Actually, that's where I got in. So I'll go right here. All right, so if it comes up there, then, you know, I'm out. And I'm okay with that. Look. A lot of people say, oh, you know, if you don't move your stop and it hits your TP, you'd be great. Yeah, that's great. But partials always pay. And, you know, it's all about making money. So as long as my account grows, I'm happy. So you kind of need to be in that mindset. I don't have to be right. I just have to make money. I just want to make money. So. Okay. Now, if it came down here and stopped, I'm moving my stop to above this one. Right now, I'm just one tick above where we started. Okay, broke us out. We're, we're done. Right there. Let's see how the rest of the played out. Okay. All right, so let's recap here. We had high impact news at 10 o'clock. It was a prelim consumer sentiment at 10 a.m. So that came out and we, you know, ran up, took buy side, went down, took sell side, and stopped, right? We kind of chopped around, then we came back up, created some relatively equal highs. We took buy side there when we broke through them, and then we were looking to see if it was going to reverse or not came down we found out where our figured out where our swing low was we waited for a market structure shift we got we saw a quarter block we had a fair value gap 
came in and we got in on our trade. We made our partials, took our partials, and then we took our TP managing our trade. That's your silver bullet trade setup for Friday, July 14th.